Welcome to N1 Industrial Electronics. This is chapter eight called Semiconductor Diodes. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Looking at an atom, which consists of a nucleus surrounded by electrons. Now inside the nucleus, we have positively charged protons and neutrons with no charge. The electrons have a negative charge and valence electrons are found in the outermost orbit. Doping occurs when there is an addition of impurities to a pure semiconductor material to form either a p-type or n-type material. A n-type material has a free electron to donate and is known as a donor atom. A p-type material, it has one bond which is incomplete and thus will create a hole which is ready to accept a free electron. A p-n junction is formed when a p-type material is joined to an n-type material and thus creating a depletion layer. A diode will conduct when forward biased and prevent current flow when reverse biased. To produce half-wave rectification from an AC input, we can use one diode in the AC transformer. There are different types of transistors. We get the NPN transistor. Now transistors can be used as a switch or an amplifier. And we also get PNP transistors. Yeah, we have full wave rectification circuit diagram using two diodes and a center tap transformer. Diode one and diode two are 180 degrees apart and it will produce full wave rectification. Now the center tap acts as the common point between diode one and diode two. Thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to like my channel.